have a shower big. Job's done. I have faith in the strength of Azeroth. Retaliate! Hey buddy, watch this. It is Paladin. We knew this is what we were gonna see. Let's um let's keep one coerce. We keep a blade storm too, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm worried about card draw a little bit, but my real name is Dexter Cardsman. <laughs> Dexter Cardsman. <laughs> and my my social security number is um one zero 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 zero. It's a crazy coincidence. May the light grant you peace. You look like a Dexter, do I? <laughs> That's amusing. I think Dexter looks like a Dexter. I was beaming on Dexter getting 100,000 subs. My boy got to 100K. Go Dex. All right, this is a good sorting board, I guess. It's not going to get better later much. Oh boy, what's happening now? My back? This is not showing as dead. I guess I'm going to restart. I kind of want to play a control warlock too that's maybe designed to be good against Paladin. I think they have a lot of hard removal that could be good against Paladin. Twisting Nether, Siphon Souls, that sort of stuff. Okay, definitely not time for a Bulwark yet. They've got an Angling Rod in their deck. I was petitioning for this yesterday. This is exactly what I was saying yesterday. I feel like I want my Hand of Paladin to have some, some reach, some damage. And it still puts minions in hand, so it still fits the game plan. This is awesome. I'm glad to see somebody is doing that. Makes me feel like my idea was better that other people think it's good too. It's like I feel smarter now. It's hardcore petitioning for that. Uh, Anchorman's not great here, unfortunately. I think I might still take it though. I don't know. It's so bad. I mean, all these are bad, right? So nothing here is good. But it draws a card, so that's at least something. I think we wait on this, right? This is way better with like Rattlegore later. How does it work with Rattlegore? Um, I, I guess the the eight eight like once Rattlegore dies, it it's it's done, right? It's not continuing into the eight eight. It's a different minion. It's not the same minion. So. Sure, it's distinct. Great, we get to hear the friends list sound go off because I had to restart Hearthstone. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> okay. Like, I want to do this. I guess it does kill these two. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we get Lothar. Oh, Kargath is the worst, but also not the worst because of this. Pretty cool, actually. We get to kill the uh, the dude. That was a good turn. I mean, I would have preferred a Lothar or a Troublemaker, of course, but we'll take it. We didn't hit the uh, stage dive yet for the Kargath, so... I don't know, maybe it, I can't run two stage dives because I only have the one rush minion. This does feel kind of bad still. Like, this was how people built the deck, so I'm open to the Kargath, but that like that felt kind of bad, right, to pull the four drop off. I wasn't in love with that. Blade Storm does double clear here, but I just don't do much else afterwards. Like, trade Blade Storm, right? Could equip a Bulwark, but that's not exciting either. I, I think I stick to this. Actually, let's go ahead and put the Kargath in first, right? Wouldn't mind getting that immediately. Moarg is also chill. Okay. He's sort of like a Kargath Prime in a terrible way. Next turn, we probably, as long as we're even, like, sort of even on board, I think we just play Troublemaker, right? Just try to keep our threats sort of equal with theirs so they kind of have to trade in. Keep things, uh neutral basically for a while till i find like a brawl or something to catch up later I, I i have a feeling though they're they're probably just gonna be able to build enough boards that i can't keep up uh, this is what i was worried about right is like just i only have two brawls in a death wing I'm, I'm eventually gonna run out of removal and they might just stabilize hey man do you do thanks for the nine months okay well that's gonna answer that oh that's clean yikes that's gross. Ugh, what a clean play. Jeez, the 1-1 one -one here is ruining the Blade Storm too, honestly. Ugh, this feels terrible now with everything at 4 health. I don't even have a Brawl, so I, it's like I can't even like Bulwark install into Brawl, you know what I mean? I'm in such a weird spot here. Ugh, I could Bulwark Coerce. This feels terrible. Double Blade Storm's awful. 
This one one is ruining everything. Good God. It's just ruining yeah. everything. Uh, I have to just wait a turn. I, I don't I don't have an answer here. Can sort of hit any of these. I, I guess I don't want to give them the tail end yet. Uh, theoretically, just take the biggest target, right? It's really not that good, to be honest, but it's what we got. Oh boy, I need Brawl. I need... I don't know. This deck can't be Paladin. I don't know if it's going to be playable, right? Paladin's just everywhere right now. <laughs> Coerce the 1-1. One, one. I thought about it. I mean, it makes the Blade Storm theoretically better, right? They all do the same amount of damage this turn anyway. <laughs> Seems pretty weird, though. Because I may not I may not want a Blade Storm. Might want a Troublemaker or something instead. Although, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I, I mean, I'll have armor, so it could probably Troublemaker, Shield Slam, that sort of thing. But it's only three armor, so... I need a Brawl. I need a Kargath Prime. I need everything in my deck. Unbuffed Pack Mule. Okay, they're, it looks like they're kind of playing around removal here a little bit, honestly. Not going like too ham. Although, no, never mind. They're going pretty ham. Oh, I got a McGurgle Prime board to deal with, too. There's so many things to deal with. <laughs> I guess, man. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. There's a few good targets now, at least. Like this would be nice. Oh, okay. I'll, t I'll take it. I mean, the second target, there wasn't that many great ones, so face was fine. Yeah, I can live with that. You want to cry? Golden Lothar, man. What? <laughs> he looks cool, honestly. I love the look of the character, but... Golden Lothar, really? Do you have Golden Lothar too? Man. Conviction again. Oh, don't have Wind Fury, please. Don't have Wind Fury, please. So dead. Probably either way, honestly, but... For the Alliance hey, Cariel's not win for you, at least. Is there any sort of just, like, god-tier double blade storm here? It's, like, pretty close. This thing is the problem, I guess. No, this is three health, three health. One health. So I can like trade here, right? I got a few one healths. And then I got a few three healths. And then I can finish on a blade storm. Oh, I'm still not quite there though. Yeah, it's good enough. One of these will die, hopefully. Yes, actually guaranteed. Okay, wasn't perfect, but it's what we had. Uh, now it's the reload that's the problem, right? Oh, Lothar, dude, you ain't gonna cut it. Actually, Lothar Coerce is pretty good. Never mind, Lothar Coerce is nuts. Okay. Oh, I can't target, though. Oh, you idiot robes! No! Never mind, Lothar sucks. Uh, Brawl. It's too early for Brawl, dude. If only, dude, if only. Don't hit the 7-7. Seven, seven. Lothar! <laughs> Dude, should have just rattled Gord. I think I'm dead, right? I was anticipating something being dead, but really only this could have died, like the one in three. They have that weapon for damage, so I might be dead. Conviction would have been lethal too. Both are such an idiot, dude. <laughs> I really need, I don't know, actually. Uh, I, I can always clear, right? We're all coerced, unless this wins, I guess. Which, great, I jinxed it. That draws me a uh, Kargath Prime, but that's not good enough. I got a brawl here. God, if Lothar had killed that, we'd be in so much better of a spot. Okay, that didn't live, thankfully. That's good news. All right. Uh, that feels so bad. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, technically, I can afford to hero power here, right? Like, technically. But... Not if he hits Conviction, right? Not if he hits Angling Rod. Maybe. <sighs> but th that's two outs, you know? Like, it's not that unlikely. I think I have to. It just sucks. Um, next turn, we can heal for 10. So we'll be able to stabilize off this next turn, right? That's fine. I guess I actually could have drawn that now and then Hero Powered next turn for the same. But this plays around that weapon. He has that 3-2 weapon, maybe, so... If they have that 3-2 weapon, this is definitely better to armor here. So yeah, this was right. 
technically would have been cooler to play this now and then because because I might draw the Kargath naturally and then it won't be buffed. Troublemaker. Okay. That four six is definitely scary, but Kargath is enough for now. Six seven. They 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 probably have to kill the Kargath, right? I'm at fourteen. I guess conviction's nine. So I'm dead to conviction. Really. That's not drawing conviction, thankfully. Oh, they've already played two convictions. Oh my god, they already played two convictions, guys. When did they play the first conviction? My I don't remember. It must have been so long ago. Oh, that can't. That's awesome. Okay, sweet. It's still rush, but it can't win fury or frenzy, thankfully. So that's good news. How do I kill this now, though? Maybe just have to go troublemaker and pray. This would be an interesting Deathwing. Interesting Forge Fiend. Pretty good commencement, usually. I would take, like, a Sword and Board, even. Just, like, Troublemaker Sword and Board on the 2-2 or something. Shield Slam would be great. Shield Slam on the 4-6. That'd be sick. Athletic Studies is probably not it. 7-9 and 3 is 12. So I kind of have to clear a minion. This, this could whiff, right? Like, I gotta do this and heal, though, so that I can try to swing harder later. 7, 9, so 11, 12. Choices. Yeah, I mean, technically, armor here is enough to keep me alive. Especially if I clear any minion, it's much, much better. Which I'm pretty likely to clear one of these things. That's good. Per oh, perfect. Perfect hits. The two best possible hits, actually. So they have 8 damage. I'm at 14 health. They're down to 7 total cards. Hopefully, between the current board, athletic studies, and my removal package... Surely I can beat seven cards, right? It's another good card, though. Okay, I can kill one of these. That's good. Shield slams insane, actually. Do I go rattle gore or do I just win the board with this? If I whiff on this, I mean, there's no way I whiff totally on this, right? Let's just see. Oh, Runthak's pretty good. Oh, Stone Maul's good. Oh, Rabbit's kind of good. Not that good, though. Well, is Rabbit that good, actually? I think Rabbit actually is pretty good. I killed the three on the left, and I am left with a minion on board. I think it actually is Rabbit. Wow. Huh. Now I have a shield slam, basically. I preserve some removal. Okay, that's pretty nice. What's left? An angling rod, maybe? A robes? Catacomb guard? Hand of a doll? Another prismatic jewel kit? There's really not much left. Hmm. Oh, they got McGurgle Prime still. Oh God, how do I beat McGurgle Prime? I can't beat McGurgle Prime. God, I can't beat McGurgle Prime, guys. I don't know how to beat McGurgle. I need Brawl to beat McGurgle. That's the only way. Maybe a big taunt buys me enough time. Deathwing, Brawl, whatever. Rust Rot, don't hit McGurgle. Please, God, don't hit McGurgle. Not this turn. No! Oh, that's a small one. Wait, what? Was that other one generated off something? It was. Oh, my God. I'm going to have two idiot McGurgles to deal with. Okay, this turn we just leave the McGurgle alive, right? No, actually, does Wind Fury beat me if I do that? Uh, it's four, six. No. I have to get, I have to get the Rattle Gore up. Oh, I really need to draw Brawl or Deathwing. Oh, God. Cry, baby. I think I hit. I'm not going to win off, like, face damage or anything, so might as well just take that. Might matter on, like, a Shield Slam armor up or something. Oh, oh boy. Second McGurgle is the real pain. I now need both a Brawl and a Deathwing. I mean, if it takes them a minute, it might be okay, because I don't have to kill this off right. I can just kind of leave it, maybe. Grunt Shield Slam. Actually, oh, Grunt's risky, because it could draw the Deathwing. But maybe that's enough to just win the game if it does, right? Maybe the McGurgles don't matter if I just win the game. So again, Wind Fury is only four and six. I'm technically alive to Wind Fury. I think we just have to race now. Do I even shield slam my 6-2 just so that I have like a guaranteed lethal setup next turn? You know what I mean? Because this is only 15. 
I could shield slam this and have either Deathwing or Moarg. Moarg is obviously insane because of the taunt. But Deathwing would also just represent lethal, and then he can't win, right? Really? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Moarg was the better roll, probably. Although it actually doesn't represent lethal, it's only 17. <laughs> it's actually one off. Um, but it's definitely disruptive at least. And it's probably enough armor now even that I could maybe survive a McGurgle, right? Like between the taunt itself. So probably even if I have to go face with Rattlegore, it's probably still enough to, to hold me off for lethal. I kind of thought he might trade this in a turn sooner so that he could kill that McGurgle and put another McGurgle in the deck sooner, but he didn't. He went face with it. I wonder why that was. What is that? Catacomb Guard. Okay, so they're still alive again, yeah. But now the McGurgle, I mean, it might have rushed, but it's not going to be enough to deal with the second half of the Rattlegore, right? Like, I just go face, and then they can never finish this Rattlegore. There could technically be taunts in the way, I guess. But I have maybe Shield Slam and provokes and sword in the board basically at this stage like anything i draw is gonna help me answer my gurgle board right like it almost doesn't matter brawl okay so that gives me the answer to the mcgurgle we just go face we heal up this heals me again right so i'm functionally at 20 again they can clear this turn hit me for two i guess they heal to five how do they deal with rattlegore right I just don't know if they can. This game has been crazy, dude. I thought we were so dead like 25 minutes ago, for the record. I thought this game was over 25 minutes ago. The commencement's gonna be stranded soon if um, I draw Deathwing first, but I, it's kind of the same difference, like whatever. <laughs> Should I? Yeah, I did say we wanted to beat Paladin. Yeah, we have just enough. I added a lot of cards for Paladin, like the coerces and stuff. And oh, they got the burger one out, but it's just too slow, right? It doesn't matter. Unless it has taunts. If it has taunts, it could be enough. It could have Circus Amalgams. Right, but then I can brawl. Oh my god, they got a Circus Amalgam. Oh no, they got a Circus Amalgam, dude. No! Oh wait, provoke? Uh, no, I got a brawl here, right? If Rattlegore wins, it's lethal. If Rattlegore doesn't win, I can provoke to... Well, it won't always kill the other minion because it has Divine Shield. I could Mind Field probably to clear it with Provoke. But then I still have the other so McGurgle. I guess I saved the Provoke then in that case for the next McGurgle maybe. I just need Rattlegore to win, please. Please. Rattlegore. I cannot believe they got the taunt, by the way. Like, such a baller move. Oh, Valagor didn't win. Did the taunt win? No way. The taunt won! Oh, come on! They were gonna steal this freaking game, dude. Uh, I think I wait till there's another McGurgle for the minefield. Right? I don't think I go now. Because I can clear shields and maybe use Provoke to clear if I don't hit Deathwing, which might buy me time to find the Deathwing. Uh. Deathwing, please. Deathwing, please. Deathwing, please. Now here's a real debate, right? They got another taunt, by the way, so I'm glad I didn't take the, the minefield clear on this. I would have been dead, so rewarded actually for our patience do i take the deathwing now is the question so many choices don't hit the divine shields please okay do i just take the deathwing now because the 12 12 taunt is, is taunt is basically enough i think so right if i provoke we should be good Oh, that's bad positioning on that one, two. Oh, it goes in this order. Oh, that was first. Perfect. Yes. Okay. This should be pretty much game over, right? Oh, they got another. Oh, my God. I didn't see there was another McGurgle. You're kidding me. Oh, my God. If they. Oh, I didn't see they had another McGurgle Prime. You're kidding. If they get another taunt, I swear to God. 
If they get a third taunt off the McGurgle Prime, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my god, don't do this to me. Oh, there's justice in the universe. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's justice in the universe. Oh my god. Oh lord. That was the scariest Arts game I've ever played. Oh man. Oh my god. Thank goodness. I mean, I, I statistically, I don't know if it was right. The first, the first brawl turn, right? Like I could have minefielded through the uh, circus amalgam, like minefield provoke to set up for the taunt. Like, like, so there's no taunt so that rattle can go face the next turn. It would have failed hard because they had a second taunt off the McGurgle. But statistically, I don't know if I was more likely to win by my line or pretending like you know they maybe didn't have a taunt and then it, it turns out we needed a third mogul to not have a taunt again so it kind of felt redundant i feel like physically exhausted <laughs> i built this deck to beat paladin though or at least not really to beat paladin but we built it with paladin in mind anyway let's say but mine feels what we needed last game to stop that early chip damage right rattle is not what we need we need sword and board athletic studies Minefield, Kargath, maybe a Brawl eventually. Those are the cards we need. Do we Minefield this already? I think the natural play on two is the 2-2, two -two, so I don't think we do. I think we greet it. I've commenced with this game, but no coin, unfortunately. Would love coin for this. No way to cheese this out. Oh, Forrest, GG, dude. Yeah, oh, I'm glad you won. Yeah, I forgot that was you. Yeah, I was trying to win, and then I forgot it was you. I, I smack-talked you, man. I said, man, this guy's he's mean. He's killing us. No, GG, dude. I, I actually complimented your plays a couple times, I think. Accidentally. I'm happy. I'm happy I didn't accidentally trash talk you. <laughs> heavy plate? Yeah, we talked about heavy plate. I, I, I decided against it, but I, it's, it's... My thought was it's really bad against Paladin, and I wanted to be Paladin. It's definitely better against Shaman, though, and probably better against Mage. If we see a lot of Shaman and Hunter, maybe heavy plate would be worth it. Against Paladin, I don't think the armor's enough. I think you need a removal density, right? I think you need as much removal as you can get against Paladin. <sighs> Shopkeep? Uh, Darkmoon Rabbit? <laughs> Razor Jaw? Hero Power? Doesn't do it. Can't Shield Slam yet. Shopkeep, I mean, technically sets up to clear this over two turns, but it's, it's pretty weak. So I could Hero Power Shield Slam now and then Shopkeep next turn. Uh, that does not beat a weapon buff, though. Loses the weapon buff. I think I just take the shopkeep and play it and attack. I don't know. It's really bad. I could take it and trade it. What do I draw that's even interesting, though? Nothing this turn. Coerce is out. I guess a minefield is interesting. Stage dive is somewhat interesting. Yeah, I don't really want to play this. I guess I just trade it, too. Be fine. Bulwark is interesting for next turn. Because I doubt we need a brawl yet. Bulwark lets me get armor for shield slam sometimes too, which is cool. Hey, Parish Bishop, thanks to the Prime sub. That's cool. Okay. This isn't bad against these, but it's not great. Oh, Provoke will be handy later. I like the Provoke later. Commencement Provoke might be a big swing, right? It's like, I feel like commencement's just one turn too slow constantly, though. I need cowardly grunt provoke. That's what we need. You have a sick curve, but we're going to be dead. Yep. Charged and ready to rumble. A minefield. I sort of need to brawl. It's just so bad. Oh god, I don't know. I need I need the I don't even know what's the best minion to win. I guess maybe the 2-5, the 4-5, I guess, sort of, I guess has less synergies. Hmm. This sucks though. Yeah, that's, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, this is going to have to do something nuts next turn. 
I need Forge Fiend or Deathwing probably. Lothar won't be good enough. Cowardly Grunt. I mean, actually, Cowardly Grunt might be okay. It might just eat two things and then summon another awesome thing, right? That would be okay. The 2-5 on board is first, so if we got a Cowardly Grunt, the 2-5 would eat into the Divine Shield. Unfortunately, the 2-2 there would be a pretty clean kill on the Cowardly Grunt. Be much better if they summoned like a 6-6 six, six next. Like a Sanctum Chandler, for instance. Would have been much better. But now the Grunt would die. But we still have to try. Yeah, see, if they played this first, it would be dead to the Grunt. But instead, the 2-2 two is going to kill the Grunt. That's kind of sad. Hopefully we just get something good enough like a Lothar anyway that it doesn't matter and it kills it anyway. Oh my god, I've literally described every scenario of this turn! My god! <laughs> That's amazing. So suddenly this is pretty good. Like, this might eat uh, a Hex. And then I have like a Troublemaker that's maybe hard to kill. Uh, do I have a Kargath Blade Fist yet? No, not a Kargath Prime. Regular Kargath. Okay. That's good to keep in mind too. Amazing. Super pre-recorded. <laughs> Provoke is pretty good, guys, in this deck. I, uh, I hated on Provoke pretty hard in my review, as I recall. But it's it's got some intriguing applications with commencement in particular because of that divine shield. It's good to play around removal in some ways. It's not bad. It's kind of intriguing. Now lettering. Yeah, Troublemaker's good. Let's do it. You're in my school now. You gonna cry? Get this? Nice. Okay, we're ahead a lot. Uh, wasn't trading the shopkeep really bad as you don't answer board. Well, we weren't gonna answer board anyways. So that wouldn't be a reason. Pulling it from the commencement is definitely riskier. Yeah, uh, putting it in the deck for commencement is, is a risk I didn't acknowledge enough. Yeah. I think it's... Worthwhile risk. Like we were just looking for anything to do, right? But we didn't have a play to answer the board anyway, right? Like, running it in as a 3-3 three, three didn't kill the, the thing anyway. It marginally slowed it down, maybe. Can I afford to just rattle Gore here? I, I think so. It, the only problem is committing that much mana to something that can be pretty easily hexed is scary. Like, I could also just go sword and board, trade, stage dive into uh Kargath trade armor up but if i do go here i can hit hit you know rattlegore hit whatever it, probably the board is clear and i have a rattlegore and a six four troublemaker so many choices. i guess we go for it because if they hex this it probably means the troublemaker is alive is what i'm thinking hope this dies right if not this changes the math a lot nice I think you make a reasonable point about the ruining the commencement pool. At that stage, I don't remember if we had the commencement or not. We probably did. That, that's a that's a compelling argument, I think. Regis, I was inspired by your DH Prester Fellfire Deadeye deck and tried to make an even Hunter Fellfire Prester deck. It's bad. It's so bad. Well, that sounds fun. And indeed, Lily Pet Lurker, but the, ra the Troublemaker survives. So I, I think this was a worthwhile exchange right uh okay quite a bit You're in my day now. i believe quite a bit i mean it's so likely to kill that right <laughs> it's so likely to kill that uh, the odds of it not killing that are like unfathomably low not unfathomably i guess it's a four attempts Okay, 20 health, gigantic board. This is nice, we're in a good spot. I thought we were gonna be doomed this game, but uh, the provoke, Lothar, cowardly grunt turn, commencement provoke turn is what got us out of this mess. The Lothar bailed us out, pretty cool. This also had negative interactions with uh, stage dive, by the way, I'd rather have a car gap. It's not so bad, it's fine, but 
Oh my god, dude. He is going for damage right now. Holy crap, dude. Dude, still almost got there. My god, dude. Shaman is brutal. Look at this mess. I'm in four. I thought I was like totally safe, but not really. Jeez Louise. I had to do it in turn, but... Okay, Lothar coming in clutch that game, dude. 